Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is January the 30th, 2021. I'm going to give you all a very crucial price prediction update for Xpeng. Now, before I go into that, if this is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate it of how we're giving you all a heads up as to where the market is anticipated to go. Make sure you hit the like button, share the video, also subscribe to this channel. And if it's real important to you, you want to tap that bell so you make sure you up, become notified whenever we upload our predictions on YouTube. So it was um, January the 13th was the last time we did our price prediction in the market for Xpeng. And being fully transparent with each and every one of you, you all can see what has occurred since then. This is the performance of the trap. Now, the trap is the individual who controls the price. He moves the market. We simply follow what he does to get an understanding as to where the market is going to go so that we can get in position and capitalize on that once he actually takes the price there. So here it is. This was the last time we did our video for Xpeng right here on the 12th, 13th of January. And we expect the market to go higher in price. Now on that video, you all can check it out. It is in our Xpeng playlist. We told you that $57.50 was an area of restriction. Look what occurred on this particular day. On the 25th, what happened? The market in Xpeng fell to close above $57.50. And on that video, we told you that that is where we would TP the market. TP simply means where we would take the profit and exit out the position. And that occurred on the 25th of January. So $57.50 was about 6% profitability. Now, that is great in the sense that at this particular time on the 13th of January, we didn't foresee the market finding restriction. We expected it, but it actually came to fruition on the 25th. So we already were in position because we expected that it was going to find a hard time. I'm talking about the trap was going to find a hard time breaking price above that. And since that time, look what happened into the market. Price has fell. Price fell, period. So. 6.18% profitability in that particular forecast. Let's get rid of it because we have some things to talk about now. Okay, some very crucial information to display and to voice about where is Xpeng going to go? Because take a look at what occurred on Friday, right here, the 29th of January. A decision is about to be made in this upcoming trading week. The market will either hold that line or we will break it and go lower in price which would transition over Xpeng being in this uptrend to one if anything just being in a consolidational trading range okay so we have to pay attention to that this upcoming trading week is going to be crucial as to what the trap lays down so that we can get a better idea as to what position we are going to be in OK, so, but you guys can already tell generally what is the sentiment of how he is feeling. We can actually get a gauge as to what he expects the market to do. You know why? Because right there around that ascending line, we need to start to see some strength entering the market. We need to see the idea of increased volume, increased participation from the market. Because that would definitely tell us that, yeah, that ascending trend is still intact and that the market is going to continue to go higher and trade above that line. So once we look at these different time frames, keep that in mind. If we don't see any strength on these varying time frames, then we know that the market in Xpeng is still weak. Let's start off with the three day time frame real quick. OK, so. Looking at the market in Xpunk on a three day time frame, what is going on into the market? You all can see that the volume has been on a decrease. Every three day price bar, there has been less and less market participation going on. So that emphasis of that strength trying to increase the price is waning. We're losing that fire. That's first thing. Secondly, these couple of three day price bars, let me circle it for you right here, indicates that there were more sellers into the market than there were buyers. 
That's why we're still seeing the weakness come into the market for XPUM. Okay. So let's look at this on a five day time frame. We still are not seeing any strength entering the market in XPUM on a five day time frame. We're just not seeing it. So the market currently, when you look at it on the three day and the five day, it is still weak, which means that our ascending line is in jeopardy of being broken to the downside. So we're not going to be caught off surprise when XPUN goes lower. We're not because we're seeing it on varying different time frames, even on the weekly. The weekly time frame definitely emphasizes that there's more weakness to go through into the market in XPUN. Now, how low can this particular market go? We could see fine. We could find support around forty five dollars to forty two fifty and that's it. But that would mean that the trend is broken and that we wouldn't be expecting the uptrend to continue. Rather, we'd be expecting the market just to trade sideways. That would be the best outcome then. Until we see the resumption back up to higher price. So this is simple. What we're going to do, we're going to continue to play the weakness into the market in XPUNG. OK. We're going to expect the trap to lower this value in XPUNG to the downside. OK. Now, 5250 is restriction, but the biggest area of restriction is right there around $55. So we're going to hold that there as restriction into the market in XPUNG. And like I told you, $45, 4250 are definitely areas to where we can see the trap come in and prop the market. So we will skim off a little bit of the lick right there around $45, which would be about six and a half percent, which is still great because we are anticipating that the probability of him coming in, propping up the market around $45, it is there. So once he brings that price there, we need to capitalize on that lick and take the money. But ultimately, we're going to take it down to $42.50. All right. That would be the ultimate TP price for us in this particular forecast. Now, the overall market continues to get wallop and shows massive amounts of weakness. We're going to come all the way back down to 40, but we're not going to show that right now. OK. So this is our prediction. This is what we're expecting the trap to go. Now it's your turn. Leave us a comment in the comment section right now and tell us where do you think the market is going to be? In the next week, next seven days, where is price going to be at in XPOM? Because if you don't see what we're seeing on the price chart, you see something totally different, which is fine. Let everyone else know about it. Where do you expect price to be and where would you take the lick? And that's it. Make sure you maintain a profitability. Now you know what to do. <laughs> Go and trade different.